Man, you come right out of a comic book. Poke the Pixel Media. Exploring the media multiverse of geek culture. He meddled in things pensionally for one point. This is Gotham Shran, creator of The Last Earth, science fantasy comic strip. Uh, today I'm having another one of my process and inspiration videos. Uh, this time looking at the art of and the influence of Frank Miller on myself in particular. So let's jump into it. Uh, now, one of the first big inspirations for me was the Wolverine graphic novel, <clears throat> the Chris Claremont four issue miniseries. Uh, I got it in the graphic novel form and this was the first, uh, pretty much one of the earliest uh, comic book store purchases for me. Uh, so I really enjoyed that. Uh, it's probably very foundational for me. Um, next, I would not become aware of his work on Daredevil um, until much later, but a lot of what is covered in Daredevil really gets covered in this Marvel saga, which was one of the few, I had a few of these Marvel sagas and they were the internet before the internet. Um, this and uh, unofficial handbook of, the, the official handbook of the Marvel Universe were effectively like having a wiki before there were wikis. Uh, but this is where I learned a lot about that backstory. I, now, Dark Knight Returns, obviously big influence on me as a comic book reader. Um, I think part of the influence was that, you know, it was part of the 89, for me, it was part of the 89 uh, Batman craze, but also um, really got me connected to the character and really got the idea that this was big culturally for everyone else. All right. Uh, now, not on art, but doing the the story of this, this uh, Mazzucchelli Batman Year One is you know, part of the the, the head canon of the, the book ends of the Batman story from the Frank Miller point of view, from year one to Dark Knight Returns. Um, and, you know, part one of the more important books I've read. Now, following up, so I'm, com I'm coming at a lot of the Frank Miller work out of order, um, where I was looking at a lot of, you know, after the Batmans, I would come back to... Uh, this and purchase this later. So this is the sort of graphic novel form of this. And this is the most sort of daredevil um, Frank Miller that I actually own, even though I I know the whole story and I've read issues that this is not so Now this was an interesting little uh, side bit for Frank Miller where he did the illustration for a Harlan Ellison book, Mephisto and Onyx. And this is where we really got to see his negative space, black and white line, white line on black background artwork. And that was really, I think, visually for me, very transformative. Uh, speaking of kind of going back in time, <laughs> this was a, uh, uh, I would say a multi-bag, you know, uh, department store sort of um, by, you know, Kmart or something. And um, this one has a uh, Daredevil story where he fights the Hulk and I've always loved it. I thought it was a very uh, interesting mismatch, and the way he handles it, really good. Uh, Frank Miller does it. He's doing the art in this one as well. All right. Now, Sin City. Uh, this is the cover on the trade paper rack I had. Again, this is another one of those big revelations where a black and white book um, coming out in the 90s when there wasn't really a lot of great work coming out in the 90s, at least from the big two. And, you know, I was definitely Dark Horse was one of the places I was buying a lot of my books because of things like this. Um, and then the second trade, Team to Kill for another one, uh, you know, both basically comprising the first Sin City move, movie. Um, for this one, I would have to say I am, uh, I think this is kind of where the Sin City story ends for me. I've read a few of the other ones and I haven't liked them as much as this one. I think these are the two where he's really like at his height. And again, this whole like using a black and white line. Uh, 300. Um, I have long big version. I didn't get the original uh, individual issues version. 
and love it. The Lynn Farley painting on it is probably the thing that really makes it say. She really does a lot of the heavy lifting in it art-wise, but it is a beautiful piece. And again, we're getting to this kind of like minimalist style for him that I really am starting to enjoy. Finally, Ronan. Now, this is actually a very early part piece of his work, but um, I've only recently gotten a copy of it and started reading it. And I'm happy I'm doing it now. And I better understand books because I can totally see his influences of Lone Wolf and Cub and um, Mobius that he's trying to bring to American comics at that early age. So great effort, if not quite sticking to him. Thanks again for joining me on my art process journey as I create my comic strip, The Last Earth. You can follow me on the web at www.pulptopixel.com and on Instagram and Twitter at pulp to pixel See the show description for links to my link tree, my merch store, and donation site. See you next time when we return to the distant future of The Last Earth.